So we need to go get some very special loot. D did that just go through his head? Excuse me, what? Okay, science. Okay, good. Oh, uh, yes, the medical tent. My favorite tent. Let's see if we have anything good today. Mm, yes, I love these. Cough syrup. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> yes, wonderful. I honestly don't know what's going on with it. Because it just seems to be, like, broken. It, it doesn't know what it wants to do. It, it just... It honestly doesn't know. <laughs> it's like it wants to run towards me and kill me or in a certain direction but it just doesn't know how to run and do that stuff oh hi hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the unturned today it's it's a bit <laughs> i just started recording because i heard a gunshot outside my base i've done a lot of work on the base and uh, i heard a gunshot and it might have been over there somewhere potentially over at our um well actually that that's a new thing that that happened yeah, I heard a gunshot though. All right, so I do have some good news. I have a generator for oxygen. It's perfect, so I can actually use my entire base. Look at this. This is amazing. Now, I did the floor. It's kind of weird, and uh, you may be wondering why is there a hole in the floor? Well, I was planning on using this for like oil pumps, but I actually had to make an oil pump and move it to the actual land. So we have a small outpost where we make oil at, but th that'll be fine. They'll be fine. Let's go check on our good old oil pump. So I did set this one up over here. As you can see. Hopefully nobody's raided it. I don't think it's going to be easy to raid my base. Because I have it set up pretty good. I have it very goodly defended. As you can see. Wonderful. Wonderful base. Is, okay, that is out of fuel it looks like. I'm going to go inside. Oh yes! 100% fuel on this thing. That is a wonderful sight. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, put that into the, the fuel generator so that way we can uh, just run this thing constantly. I'm gonna stop it for a bit. You know, we, we need to get a fuel tank so that way we can store some of this fuel, but I don't really have a use for all of this except, you know, maybe later on we'll use it for, like, you know, vehicles. I don't have a vehicle yet, so um, not sure how that's gonna work. Alright, so one of the things I'm gonna make today is gonna be a rain like a, like a, like a, a water tank. Because we need to store a ton of water, because I'm going to get a lot of water from, like, you know, rainstorms and things. I have two water bar rain barrels, I should say. Rain barrels that will fill up with rain, and then I have no place to store all that. So, basically, if it rains, I get two for every rainstorm, and I have no place to put that when it stocks up. Now, let's go ahead and check on our nearby base, see what's going on over there. I don't think anything's happened. Now, while I was out exploring... One of the things I found... Well, not one of the things. Okay, we're, we're not to that point yet. We're not to the point yet. Okay. Well, anyway. I, I went over here yesterday, and I came by and left a bit of a present. Let's see if they've um, accepted my gift of peace. My peace offering. Oh, yep, they did. Kind of, I guess. I think, maybe. It may have a little less stuff in it. I don't know. Now, one of the other things I found was uh, a tank. Yes, literally. Um... A tank. It was just unlocked in the middle of the road. And I found the tank, I took it over to here, and I got it stuck in a place where I don't think anybody could get it out of. Well, unless they have a carjack, and then, um, yeah, they're definitely getting it out. <laughs> I would like to make it more fortified in the future, so that way people can't really get it out of there, and also make it, you know, not worth the effort, but it should just be up this hill. Unless somebody got it already, which would kind of suck. Nope, uh, I think it is... Wait, what? M maybe? I think somebody might have got it already. Okay. That's kind of disappointing. I did take the tank shell out of it, so they won't be using the tank for anything destructive. Anyway, another thing I saw was off in the distance over this way. There is another base being built. I think it's being built by the people who are online right now, because there is a campfire outside the base. And, uh, we're gonna go visit them today. Alright, we, we've, we've breached the shoreline. Yes. <laughs> I did hear a gunshot earlier, so I believe these are some hostile fellows. And I, I don't really... Okay, well, we are, we're sneaking up the hill. We're crawling up the hill, okay. Moving to the tree line. Go, go, go. Huh. Okay. Okay, we're going around the tree line, okay. Let's see what's that. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, it's just a small base. Nothing too big. 
Yeah, they don't seem to be building a big base. Wooden door. Oh, it's just a spawn point. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna stay around too long, because this isn't very interesting. It's just a normal base. You know, nothing too big or special about it. Oh dear. Friends! Oh, okay, you will- you'll be stuck there! Good pathfinding, good pathfinding! Now, let me- let me, um, where'd you go? Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Bye. See ya. So I need, like, a ton of scrap metal. Um, how much do I need? I need, like, a lot, right? Also, I need to get rid of these carrots, they're, they're annoying, they're just garbage. They've cluttered my inventory long enough. Okay, um, we can also get a car too, hopefully. Hopefully we can get a car. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, so I don't usually go on the side of the map, but, you know, in, in my episodes I do. Because if we just stayed in the area I usually patrol, the only things that's there is, like, you know, just, like, a few places that we go to regularly. We, we go to the farm, we go to the, um, the camp. Today we're, we're going out to this town, because we don't come here much. And also the military base, because we need to go get some very special loot. D did that just go through his head? Excuse me, what? Okay, science. Okay, good. I do have some mighty good plans. I have some crazy plans, in fact, that I have yet to share. But I'm gonna need to enlist some server members and see if I can get them involved in this genius scheme of mine. It's gonna be quite wonderful. I got the whole town chasing me now. This is not fun. Take that. Ah. And that. Ah. Oh, you want some as well? Well, then I'll, I'll, just, I'll just have to use my arrows, because that's all I have. I mean, I do have a flashlight, but that's not really going to help out. Oh, okay, there's, there's two more. They're, they're clones. Oh, wait, no, they're wearing different pants. Never mind. I guess they're not clones. Smack. Smack. Oh, come on. Keep the smacking machine going. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What do, what do you think you're going? Okay, come on. Yes, good, good. I need the experience points. Okay, come. I, I give you brain surgery with my flashlight. We've done it. We have a water tank now. Wonderful. And it's on the floor. I almost left it there, but, um, okay. Yeah, that, that's good enough for today. I do need a um, fuel tank as well. So we'll, we'll get to that later on. That should be good enough for now. And off to the next destination. So next up, we're going over to a military outpost and then the military base itself. So we can get set up with some good items. And then we'll begin making our base even more defensible. It's going to be very wonderful. Oh yes, the medical tent. My favorite tent. Let's see if we have anything good today. Mm, yes, I love these. Cough syrup. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> yes, wonderful. We have a military vest. Oh, it's been a while since we got one of these. Now, I don't think these are as good as the actual police vest, but we'll find out. I think it's better. No, there, there's no difference. Oh, a 16 times scope. Oh, yes, from my, my bow. Yes. I feel like we're going to be, like, sniping people with this thing now. <laughs> the most ridiculous sniper. The one who's medieval. Hmm, yes, good. And as per usual, we're gonna use my good old tactic to summon the Mega Zombie into pain. I do want to fight the Mega Zombie, but all I have is a bow. So I need to find something good enough to defeat the Mega Zombie. Which is, it's gonna be in the form of spikes. And lots of spikes. Now, if you want to be super effective, you could just cover the whole road with these. But in this case, we only really need this much of the road. And this, this is just a rough estimate of where the zombies are going to be, so I've made sure to cover, like, half the road. And then I'll summon them using a, a flare into, like, this right, this area right here. So I'll, I'll go ahead and grab one of these. Good. Okay, we're all equipped and ready to go. That's wonderful. And I also have a another thing that I've been holding on to. I, I didn't know what to do with it until right now. But it is our good friend, Barbed Wire Fence. It's, it's the thing that can stop Mega Zombies, kind of, for somewhat of a time, yeah. Boom! Uh-oh, I think I messed it up. I really messed it up that time. Uh-oh. That's not good. Don't spread. Wanna be careful. Okay, so this time we're, we're gonna make sure 
that we throw it from a, a distance that way it rolls right into the barbed wire so go okay now here comes our first contestant he's killed at the start and what about mr. mega mr. mega zombie smart he's not even coming he's not even coming wow what, what a what a brilliant man little does he know I'm gonna shoot him through the, um, the fence yeah like this okay He's coming now. Oh crap. Okay, let's see what's happening. He's ran into the fence. He's going around the Oh, he's going Oh, he, he's going back on the bridge. He's he's a scared guy. And he um he went under the bridge? What the heck is this? Um Oh, he went over there. Okay, I see. Ha. Huh. Shoot him again. This time for zero points. Okay. He, he seems to not be interested in that anymore, which is um, fine. We'll go ahead and uh, step back on the bridge and just repeat the steps again. Hello? I, I can see. Can I? Can I? Okay, I see him. Okay, let's get lined up. Shoot. Jump over the edge of the bridge. He's now stuck in the barbed wire fence again, as you can see. Look at that skill there. Oh, now he's punching logs. Oh dear. Uh, it seems we've really angered him this time. As you can see, he's not even able to get past the fence. What a brilliant zombie! What a brilliant specimen this is. Yes, he's super genius. Okay. Man, I've just become a bow sniper. I've just been sniping the zombie, like, forever. <laughs> oh yes, a medical kit! I've been sitting here for so long just waiting for one of these to spawn in. Super useful. We're back to 100% health. Now we can see colors again. And the good thing is, I have a ton of arrows on me. Well, I actually, I have enough stuff I can make a ton of arrows if I need to from pretty much anything. Okay, now, as you can see, we got him with all the spikes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Bow and spikes versus zombie. Who wins? Oh, crap. Not me. I'm about to die now. I'm about to die now, and I don't... I don't see any way out of this, except unless I... Okay, yeah, that's not good. That's really not good. Okay, will you stop chasing me, you fool? I need to, um, heal myself. Okay, there's only one solution to this, and that's to sacrifice something. We have to sacrifice that. Come on, craft rag. Save me! Yes, we've survived the pain. How do you see me? How? How? <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, we've survived. Hmm. At what cost, though? We lost our shirt. <laughs> Not like we can't get that back, though. The zombies learned to fly. Look at him. He's just floating on the grass. Look at, look at this. Sorcery! He's, he's learned to fly. Honestly. Very talented zombies today. Hopefully I don't get killed again. Or get close to being killed. Huzzah! That was a that was a bad shot. Let me try again. Huh. Oh, hi! I did not see you there until you got into my 16 times zoom scope. Well, now you're gonna pay for that. You're gonna pay for that. I, I have anti-zombie insurance. It, it kills zombies for me. Okay, trust me. Okay, good. Good. See, I didn't take a single bit of damage from him. But our dear friend there, he's he's got some issues. He's trying to kill me. You know. So we'll go ahead and take him out the good old-fashioned way. Get a bit of angle on our shot. As you can see, there is clearly bullet arc in this one. Boom! Keep blasting him! Got him again! <laughs> Huzzah! I am the best archer ever. I have my 16 times zoom sniper archer thing. Oh, he despawned? Okay, he's still there. Okay, good. Good. Because I, I was going to be mad. Oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of ammo! So if I just keep pummeling his head with arrows, we will win. Don't worry, I'm an expert at killing these guys trust me it is not even a challenge anymore I honestly don't know what's going on with it because it just seems to be like broken it, it doesn't know what it wants to do it, it just it honestly doesn't know <laughs> it's like it wants to run towards me and kill me or in a certain direction but it just doesn't know how to run and do that stuff oh hi I think I might have thwarted him 
Yeah, I've completely defeated him. He's just... I've casted a spell that will prevent him from ever fighting me again. Look at this. Look at this magic. He's just waddling off into the distance. Like, walking so slowly. Now all I have to do is collect the arrows as I... As he slowly walks away from where I was shooting him at. This is... This is the best glitch ever. I could literally beat him now. I, it, there, there's no there's no challenge to this anymore if, if he's just gonna walk off. Well then I, I guess I'll have to... As you can see, it doesn't even affect him. He just keeps going in the same direction. Yes! <laughs> I've won! I'm sure this is gonna turn against me at some point. It may be stupid, but I'm actually willing to walk up behind this guy and smack him with the axe and just see what happens. I don't think he's gonna turn around. Yeah, no, I don't think he will. <laughs> yes! Crap, it is scary. I will say that, but I am getting the headshots in. It's all that matters. Come on, die. Faster. 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 Okay, I need to switch out my weapon real quick, because this one's garbage and it's broken. Yeah, see? It's absolutely broken. Okay, let's get that one, um... Just like what we're doing right now, it's absolutely broken. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and get this, pick up the axe, and run and stab! Yes, we are the, the greatest warrior. Super soldier. Yes, good. Kill him. Kill him. Get him. Stab him. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Take that. I need more experience so I can get my overkill levels up. Oh, I killed him with a knife! I've always told you guys I would be able to kill something with, like, out... Oh, even what the heck happened to this... What the heck? I- Oh, it's night vision! Oh, I'm- Oh, they changed night vision, so it's not like super green anymore. It's teal. What the heck is this? Come on, I love night vision. It's gotta be broken and disgusting looking. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta hear first. We we've defeated the mega zombie using only a melee and uh, shooting him. We, we glitched him out though, so uh, it, it, it depends if that counts, but hey. We we've won. We are victorious. We are... Um, the champions today. So if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking and subscribing. If you guys got any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. I'll see you all next time, and goodbye. Let me just kill these zombies first, real quick. Yeah, just, yeah, just real quick. Come on, use my good sniper skills. Ah, yes, good champion. Win.